Today, I am demonstrating how to make this smooth, creamy, chocolate buttercream. Welcome to the Righteous Kitchen. I am going to start this recipe with softened butter. I use a good quality butter for your buttercream. I mean, it's buttercream. It's one of the stars of the show, okay? This is already softened, so I'm not gonna have to come in here and uh, whip it up or anything like that. I'm just using straight softened butter. And I'm only making a single batch. If you're gonna do a double batch, put the dry ingredients in increments. But this is a small batch. So I'm just going to put the powdered sugar and the cocoa powder right into a sifter over my mixing bowl. And I am going to add just a dash of fine sea salt. That salt cuts through the richness of the cocoa powder. So I'm just whisking this right into the mixing bowl. I find it's easier when you're working with cocoa powder, especially to sift it. And then that's going to get all these lumps out. See that huge lump? It's like a rock. It doesn't take that much longer. And besides, we're just kind of dumping everything in here and going. We're not alternating dry with milk. Like I said, it's only one batch. Put it on the mixer. And I am going to use the whip attachment because it hits the sides of the bowl better and it's going to blend that chocolate a little bit better than the paddle. Start this out on one or you're going to have sugar all over your face. So I'm gonna let that go for a second and get the butter worked into the powdered sugar. The liquids, I always start with the flavoring first. So in goes the vanilla. And then I will start adding whole milk. You could also use heavy cream. I'm going to add that in small increments. As the cocoa starts coming together, you can bump up the speed. Now, I don't want to whip air bubbles into this, so I'm going to keep it, you know, I got it on, I'm going to put it on three. And I'm going to add milk until it gets to the desired consistency. You want a nice, smooth, spreadable consistency. Now, I'm just going to let that go for a few minutes. going to come in here. I'll take everything apart because I really want to scrape the sides and the bottom of this mixing bowl. If you save that powder bowl, you have a place to land your beater. Okay, while I'm in here, I could look at the consistency and it's still a little stiff. So I know that I want to put a little bit more milk. But it's nice and smooth. I am just going to add maybe a teaspoon of milk, then I'll put it back on the mixer. All right, 
look at it again. Now, if you're decorating a layer cake, I did have to come back uh, from yesterday. I made some frosting and today uh, I thought I might need another. So I was doing a tall three layer cake. So I am going to say, if you're decorating your cake and you don't want to come back and have to make more frosting, I would do one recipe of frosting per decorated layer. And that's an eight or nine inch cake. Look how smooth that is. I am going to uh, show you how smooth it is. All right, this is the test. Just take your offset spatula and that's pretty smooth. Let's see if we could get a close up. Look how smooth that is. Not a lot of air bubbles. I did have, I will post a trick if you have air bubbles, but if you keep it low and slow, you're not gonna incorporate a lot of air and you won't have a lot of air bubbles. I did mention that I made frosting yesterday and um, now I'm making another batch. So, so there's no color inconsistencies. I'm going to combine all the frosting from yesterday and what I've made just now and mix it all together. That way it's going to look like it all came from the same batch. Okay, and now I am back in business. So I have plenty of frosting and I can continue on decorating my layer cake. So we got a recipe. We got a quick, easy way to mix it. We got a tip on how to get the air bubbles out. We know if you're going to decorate it, one batch of frosting per each one eight or nine inch layer is what I'm going to go with. And if you do, have to make another batch of frosting. Take your old frosting and mix it with your new frosting so everything is cohesive. I'm going to share with you a tip how to get those tiny air bubbles out of your buttercream frosting. Heat up some of the frosting in a microwave safe bowl and stir it into the frosting. The heat will get rid of the bubbles and leave you with perfectly smooth frosting. Thanks for watching The Righteous Kitchen. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.